Johnson has an almost impossible task. He has to step into office upon the assassination of probably the most popular president since Franklin Roosevelt. Lyndon Johnson is really one of those larger-than-life characters. He exercises power by finding out what people want, by finding out what people are afraid of, and by using both all the time. So he has a range of programs that he is able to pass through in kind of a record amount of time, something like a year and a half, over 100 pieces of legislation. President Johnson's hallmark domestic program was the Great Society, which was a basket of policies intended to provide income, housing, and other supports for people who needed it. To this day, there's a lot of controversy about the utility and success of the Great Society, but I think in the absence of it, it's difficult to imagine the America that we have now. Another important thing to know about the moment when Johnson takes office is this is when the grassroots civil rights movement is cresting. He realizes the political and moral moment that he's in and makes the decision to sign the 1964 Civil Rights Act, which essentially outlaws segregation. So it's a very important moment of political leadership. Johnson gave Congress the tools to effectuate a second reconstruction in the South, and he should be praised and celebrated for that. But there's a downside. I think there's gonna be a lot of competition for the worst decision a president ever made, but I'd have to say that Johnson's decision to escalate the Vietnam War was a terrible decision. Billions of dollars were spent fighting an unwinnable war. That cost the lives, not only of Americans, but of millions of Southeast Asians. The unintended consequences of the war in Vietnam are with us today. But I think you have to deal with him as more than just the person who irrevocably brought the United States into the Vietnam War and prosecuted that war terribly both when he was in the House of Representatives, but also in the Senate, and then when he ascends to the presidency, he is getting more things done than maybe any elected official in U.S. history. So we shouldn't have to sort of restore the light to shine on him, but actually we do. President Johnson is on my Mount Rushmore of American presidents. He helped open the door to a more pluralistic society, not just through great society legislation, but also the civil rights legislation. He understood what it would mean for the Democratic Party, but I think he also understood that it was necessary and proper. And so for me, that's why I rank him very highly as a president. 